All right, all right. Uh, Shalom, Akim. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Recha Kodash. All right, I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Ruel. And I want to give uh, peace, greetings, and salutations to all the Legakim that's pushing his word in the truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, and the brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in his truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know, and I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe and all meekness and humbleness. You know, I say shalom. You know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Miami Camp. And Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Recha Kodash. You know, uh, I don't want to write this out. You know, I mean, it's Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel, you know. And my lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Karkadash, is going to be basically on bless our, our, your eyes, all right, as the scripture says, or bless our, our eyes, all right, because the Lord revealed this truth unto his secrets of prophets, man. I wish the spirit of truth. The understanding of the Holy Scriptures, the understanding of the names of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through His Son, Yahweh Shah. All right, the spirit of truth, which the world cannot receive. All right, majority of this world, all right, mainly Israel, all right, because the Lord said He was, He showed His word unto Jacob, His statutes and His judgments unto Israel, He have not dealt so with any nations. The Lord is not dealing with these other nations, period. But the Lord is not dealing with what? The majority of His people. All right, He's only dealing with the servants, the prophets. You know, so bless our our eyes, man. As it says in what Matthew the thirteenth chapter, man. All right, for we see, all right, in our ears, for we hear. All right, because what Isaiah six, the Lord has an angel that's blinding our right, majority of our people, man. They're not gonna understand until those missiles be shot, to the city be left without I mean, left it without inhabited, you know, destroyed, destroyed, man. All right, that's why the Lord said. What set a mark on the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abomination that be done in the midst thereof? That word mark goes into the word dawa, which means exempt from judgment. All right, because the elect is going to be exempt from judgment. All right, why majority of our people are right, going to be destroyed. Two thirds here in America, which is Babylon the Great, two thirds of Israel, which which consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, and then you got. The Israelite foreigners that scattered amongst the nations that lineage go back to the 12 tribes according to their fathers. All right, they are Israelites. All right, but the majority of the Israelites here, two thirds is going to be cut off and die in America, man. But the one third is going to be left. Uh, the one third is going to be what left, meaning what delivered. All right, and the Lord's scripture said, The slain of the Lord is going to be many. Because our people, what they're not hearkening to the words of the Lord, man. All right, they have eyes to see and ears to hear. All right, they have eyes, but they see not, as the scriptures say, so like they have eyes, but they see not, and ears, but they hear not, because the Lord closed their mind. The Lord blinded them. He made their, he fattened their, um, their minds, man. All right? At least they see, and they hear, and they should be converted, and the Lord will, Lord will heal them, all right, and, and what? Save them, man. But the Lord, he don't want, all right, uh, all Israel to get it. All right, all right, because why our people are rebellious. Look at this bug out right here, man. Our people are rebellious, and the Lord's gonna, gonna do away with these people, man. It's like mad Max out here, dude. These people, you know, they're not uh in tune with the spirit and power of Yahweh Shah, man. They're in tune with the spiritual demon Satan, and the Lord's gonna get rid of a lot of Israelites, man. And you heathens, y'all don't have a chance for salvation, man. All right, all right. The ship say the name of the Lord is dreadful from among the uh, among the heathen, man. All right, that's why these Amalekites, all right, these Jewish people, all right, with small hatters, they call her. They say the name of the Lord is Hashem. All right, that's not the name of the Heavenly Father. Hashem means the name. Ha is the Shem name. No, he has a name. He has an actual name. His name is Yahweh. Yahweh. I mean, he is or he exists, all right? And his only begotten son name is Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah in the Paleo Hebrew, the Lachuan Kodash means he, Yah, meaning he, Yahweh Shah, deliverer or savior. Because that's what's going to save the elect of Israel when he comes back with a huge fathership, a huge chariot, man. All right? 
and the Lord's going to destroy, all right, a lot of people. Scripture says, Isaiah 66, 66 and verse 15, the slain of the Lord going to be many from one end of that earth and even to the another end of the earth, man. All right. All the tribes of the earth shall mourn, man. All right. And all these Israelite groups that's here in America, all right, that's teaching false doctrine, well, all over, that's teaching false doctrine, they're going to be judged, man. All right, because why? They're turning the truth of the Most High into a lie, man. They're they're teaching uh, things that they ought not to, man. Deceiving and being deceived, because the Lord will have a, a heavy, deceptive spirit on these teachers. All right, of these other different camps. All right, to what uh, lead the blind astray, so they both can uh, fall into a dish, man. Saying that the MOTB is not to see him, man. All right, saying that you can call on the name of the Lord is anything. All right, saying you can have sex on the Sabbath. All right, teaching things which they are not. All right, saying the chariot's not real. Saying the Lord didn't perform no miracles. Saying we in a new covenant right now. All right, saying that hell is uh, 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 a place where you're going to burn for a long time, burn forever. All right. That's not according to the scriptures. That's our those are fables. Those are fables. All right. And though every uh scripture say you add to the scriptures, the Lord's gonna add these plagues upon you, man. You take away from the scripture, you're gonna be taken away out of the book of life. Basically, you're not gonna be delivered, man. You know, so there's a judgment for every action, there's a reaction for every uh yeah, for the for whatever you reap, that's what you also whoever you sow, that's what you also gonna reap, man. As the scripture said, Galatians 6, verse 7, the most high, Yahweh Shabbat Shah is not mocked. And our people think the Lord is mocked. All right? They think the Lord is, a, is something to play with, man. The Lord is not nothing to play with. The scripture say, uh, Hebrews, all right, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Yahweh Shabbat Shabbat Shah, man. You know, so bless our, our eyes. And we have the true teachers, started with our apostles and elders, great millstone. All right? And the men on down that's teaching the truth sincerity. Which we follow the scripture say um he will give you pastors the lord say he won't give you he gonna give us pastors according to his heart which mean his mind that shall feed us with wisdom knowledge and understanding should say our eyes shall see thy teachers they shall not be removed in the corner anymore all right and we learn and we continue to grow scripture said we enter into another man's labor all right the harvest is plenty but the laborers are few all right so we have the truth and long as we continue in the things which we was taught all right the scripture said hold fast that's what you have until the lord comes that which you have already hold fast till he comes man and he's what he's gonna give us the crown of life he's gonna give us power over the nations all right we're gonna rule them with a rod of iron man you know so we just got to continue to hold on you know and bless our eyes for when these things pop off all right the hour of temptation all right, which the mark of the beast, the RFID chip being made mandatory. All right, we know that Isaiah 30, 30, well, 33 and 6, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So, us knowing the, the judgment, the prophecy of the MOTB, knowing the judgment of it and the, the consequences of taking that, that's going to keep us stable. And knowing knowing that miracles coming, knowing that Yahweh Bashima Shai. All right, it's gonna protect us, knowing that this is the Lord. See him, man. He's this this hour of temptation is gonna tempt everybody. All right, to see where their mind was at, man. All right, see what their heart, their spirit was into. All right, Lord, when we probably let the Lord gonna keep us. He said, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also would keep thee from the hour of temptation. So the Lord's gonna keep the brothers, the Ikim, the prophets, the true believers in their houses, man. All right. In their little ones, man. All right. Even if you have to be beheaded, all right, you're going to be first in the chariot. All right. But we have the eyes to see, all right, and the ears to hear. So, the Wadi Yabashma Shawa, Ephesians 2 and 8, by you are saved through faith, and, you know, by grace through faith, you know, that not of yourselves this is the gift of the Most High, man. All right. So, this is a gift. And we say what? The Wadi Yabashma Shawa, the scriptures talk about the unspeakable gift. All right, this spirit of truth 
which the world cannot receive, man. All right, because it sears not nor hears them. The Lord hasn't revealed himself unto them. Or if they heard the word, they rejected it. As it says, Hosea chapter 4, verse 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected my knowledge. The Lord say, I also reject thee. All right. The Lord's going to reject a lot of people, man. <laughs> and we pray we have we are in a good mercy and the grace of Yahweh by Shabbat Shai and continue to bound, abound in that grace and that favor that the Lord bestowed upon us, man. You know, so, you know, Lord, within this lesson was edifying to the elect. Of the nation of Israel, you know, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory. I take Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which rule well. And I want to give all peace, greetings, and salutations to all the Lagakim that's pushing his word and truth and sincerity. Hey, Shalom, Akim, keep pushing, keep it doing, Shalom.